Hello Virgos. Sorry I've been away for a while. I've just been working a lot at my other job trying to save up money, but I am back now. And as always, if you ever want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box below this video. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if it resonates for you. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Please give my camera a minute to you. It takes a minute for it to um, adjust to the pictures or to the cards, I mean. We have home, sense of belonging, safe space, finances, and career. Pause, reflection, rest, submissive and weak willed. Soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, shyness, fear of rejection. Divine Intervention, Synchronicity, Truth and Clarity, End of a Pattern or Cycle, Breakthrough, Freedom. I'm getting, I am getting something with finances here that there might be, might be like a new relationship with money that's coming in for you. We have Sex and Seduction, Vulnerability, Receptivity. Mutual feelings, emotional depth, red flags, hidden motives, trapped, blocked, tied up, willpower, strength, and confidence, spying, make your move, green light, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Confusion and uncertainty. This is kind of a strange spread, so I feel like I need to pull cards. I am getting that there could be a change to finances or career. Um, it could be a change to a living situation. I feel like, I don't know if this is fully expected. Um, I think it will ultimately be for the best. And this isn't for everybody. This is just for a few of you. But I am getting something about kind of saving your money up here. Because so we have home and safe space and we have finances and career and then it's like pause, reflect, rest, like think about something. I would say if you're going to move into a new place or you're going to um, spend a large sum of money, like really think about it. Um, I just feel like someone, it's probably not for everybody, but I just feel like someone here might be overspending. Like you might be spending too much money and I feel like maybe you need to save money. Right now is kind of what I'm getting. Like you're being submissive to old patterns that you have. Could be could be soul contracts and patterns that you have of poverty. Like maybe as a child or maybe even in your past lives you went through poverty. So you kind of have this mentality of like I have to work and work and work and save and, um, you know, hold on to money and... And how do I explain that? Because it's like, I'm telling you to save money, but at the same time, I'm like, but it seems like you can't save money. Like, it's hard for you to save money. I'm just getting that there's like a negative relationship with money that you have. And again, this isn't for everybody. This is probably just for a few people here that need to hear this. But it's almost like there's something about like your childhood or like maybe like a soul contract or even like, you know, something you've been through in your past lives. Like maybe like a karmic cycle that you're repeating with money. It just feels like there's like a fear of poverty. And I feel like that fear of poverty probably comes from your past lives. Or it could even come from a time where you overspent and now you're trying to be balanced. It just feels like, it just feels like a, I don't want to say a desperate relationship with money, but it's like you're trying to hold on to it so tightly and it's just not working. And I feel like there's something here. There's some, there's like a, like a thought pattern that's kind of sabotaging you when it comes to finances or, or like I said, like a fear of poverty that, that, um, originates from either childhood or your past lives or both. And so it's, it's just like a negative relationship with money where it's like, you're trying to save and hold on to it. And it just seems like money is kind of fleeting and it feels like, like it feels like you do need to save money, but it also feels like you need to 
change how you like money is an energy i'm just getting the sense that you kind of need to let me ask here what do you need to know about money what do you need to know about like i'm just getting something about like changing your relationship with money and i'll get into the love part of this reading in just a minute but i just wanted to get this message out first um something about changing your relationship with money the hanged man letting go justice three of pentacles the world, the Ten of Swords, what the fuck is the Ten of Swords doing there? The Hermit, Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. I'm trying to figure out how to word this. I know it's such a paradox, it's really strange energy that I'm picking up here but okay I'm getting that someone that you've been building with this could be a business partner maybe a business partner that's toxic this could be a living situation where you're living with someone and you're about to be on your own because we have the three of pentacles here which is about building with someone that's like teamwork but look then there's the world which this cycle is completing whatever this is where you've been building with someone it's, it's completing. I hate to say it, but it's completing. And, you know, Ten of Swords is kind of hitting rock bottom. And you're going to be in the hermit mode. So something that you've been doing with somebody, and this is not for everybody, so don't freak out if it's not resonating. This could just be for a few specific people that, you know, your intuition's already been telling you this and you just need this message. You know, so only take what resonates here. But... You know, it's like hermit. That's that's. This is two people working together. This is one person working alone. I feel like you're going to be okay. So I know it sounds like such a contradiction when I'm like, save your money, but also open up and don't worry so much about saving your money. So I was like, how do I even explain that? It's such a, it's such a strange reading. You have such a, whoever I'm talking to, whoever this, this, whoever these people are in this energy group, it's like you guys have such a strange relationship with money. I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out how to word it. Like I can get the, I, I'm feeling the energy of it. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It's almost like you're... I don't want to say you're creating poverty, but it's almost like you're so afraid of lack. Do you know, okay, like, you know, like in relationships, you hold on to someone really, really tightly, like you don't give them the freedom to, to be themselves, to explore, and they leave, they run. It's kind of the same with money, where it's like you do need to save money, but you're holding on to money so tightly that it's like it's running from you and you can't save it. Does that make sense? It's like your relationship with money needs to change. I think this is being brought to your attention now because there might be like a bad business investment or like a, a situation, like a roommate situation that's about to change or something that might not be fully expected where, you know, it's going to be rock bottom for a minute and you're going to be stressed for a little bit and you're going to be in hermit mode. You're going to be picking up the pieces alone. And maybe, you know, for some, maybe your relationship with money is like you save and then you just say, screw it. And you just spend everything you've saved because you're so stressed out and you just kind of, it, it's like an imbalance with money is what I'm getting. But for a lot of you, I mean, for some of you, that's the case. But for others, I just feel like it's like you're trying to save money, but you're in this like, how do I even explain this? It's, it's this soul contract. It's this, it's some, it stems from childhood or from a past life where it's like you, maybe you went through poverty when you were a kid or in your past lives or both. And so there's, it's like a control issue that you have with money almost where you're so afraid to let, you're so afraid to relax with money. I mean, it's one thing to save money. It's another thing to like panic and obsess over money. Does that make sense? And I'm not, I'm not trying to, tr I'm not trying to talk crap or anything. I'm just bringing this again. This might not be for you. This is, this is, someone needs to hear this. So if it's not for you, it's for someone else that needs it. So just understand that. But I think it's being brought to your attention now because whatever this is, be it a roommate, be it a business partnership, I feel like this karmic cycle with this, with, you know, whatever this is, is about to end and you're about to be in ton of swords energy temporarily where you're going to be picking up the pieces on your own. You're going to be in hermit mode. So you need to kind of have some money saved to prepare for whatever this is. It's going down and it's going to be different for each person. But I'm just getting so strongly that you're, I just keep hearing like your relationship with money has to change. Like, 
Like, yes, save money. Be logical with money. But it's like... It's like you're losing yourself in... I don't want to call it like an obsession with money, but it's it's like a very deep-rooted soul contract or past life trauma connected to poverty that's really affecting you currently. And I don't want to say that you see money as evil. Like maybe some of you kind of see money as evil, but it's almost like it's just a negative relationship with money. And I'm sorry. I know I'm, I know I'm going in circles. I'm just struggling to, I, cause I channel primarily, but sometimes it takes me a bit to figure out how to word what I'm channeling. <laughs> um, cause it's like, you try to save money, like you work and you try to save money, but it just feels like, like there's like resentment about it. You know what I mean? Like there's, it's like, a like a, almost like a hatred of money, even though you want money, like there's like a negative relationship with money. If you start seeing money as more like an energy and kind of working with money, like having more of a positive relationship with money, I feel like, you know, you can still work, work and save your money, but it's just, it's just, I don't know how to explain that. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to go in circles too much. Cause I mean, maybe you guys already get what I'm trying to say here. Um, but it just feels like it just feels like whatever this this poverty was that you experienced it feels like it's kind of blocking you i know you're, i know it's not intentional but it, maybe you're asking for just enough instead of you know you could be asking for more it's kind of like you need to let money flow in and you can save money when that happens but it's like a certain vibration that money has and a certain vibration that you need to match with money. I know that sounds complicated. Um, God, I'm sorry. I know I, I needed to get this out there. I know it, this is a bit of a jumbled reading. I apologize. <laughs> Usually my readings are a bit more put together, but it was just a very strange message. So I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to explain this? <laughs> um But yeah, there's like an imbalance with money or it's like a, it's almost like you're making just enough to get by. It's almost like you have such a fear of losing money. So it's like you're kind of saving money, but the, how do I, okay. So it's like, you're trying to save money or you are saving money, but you still have this very negative energy connected to money, almost like a hatred of money or a resentment towards money. Like, you're not seeing it as something that can benefit you. I mean, you are seeing it as something that can benefit you, but you're not, like... I just see, I see like, this resentment and this fear of poverty. And so it kind of feels like you start saving money, but then the money has to go toward... It's like something comes and takes your money. Be it bills, be it other... Be it whatever. It's like something comes up. So it's almost like there's such a fear, such a strong fear attached to the money that like even though you know in the physical world it's like you're saving the energy is still very negative and very poverty driven does that make sense so let's say you're putting five hundred dollars aside if you're still in this mindset of lack and poverty and you know fear of poverty it's it's almost like it's attracting these things that end up taking your money from you it's like this vicious cycle that you're in um, and I know it's hard. I know with capitalism, like it's difficult and I'm not saying it's easy and I'm, I'm not saying that capitalism isn't to blame. You know, capitalism is shit. I totally understand that, but I'm saying that there's also something going on here that's connected to, to past life traumas or, or childhood traumas. So, so yeah, I think that you probably know what that is already, but again, change your relationship with money. And it's like, if you can develop this positive relationship with money, if you can kind of get in that vibration and get on board with it. I feel like you can manifest money and you can start saving money, but it's not going to feel like such a struggle. It's not going to feel like, like there's like this underlying resentment right now. But I feel like if you have this, this, if you change the way you see money, if you start seeing money as an energy, if you start working with the laws of attraction, if you, if you kind of change how you interact with money, I know that sounds strange and I hope that makes sense. If anyone needs clarification, just let me know. Um, but I do want to get into the love part of this reading too. But um but yeah, it's it's almost like like when when you can do that, you're going to be making a lot more money and you're going to be able to save it 
without it and it's going to feel like a positive thing it's like an energy that you can open yourself up to and allow it to flow to you and i feel like it's such a struggle right now because even though you're trying to make more money there's some part of you that's like closed off to money and it's not something you're conscious of i hope that makes sense i know that sounds so weird but please let me know if that makes sense <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to okay i don't want to bug you guys with this for too for too long but basically just you know think about your relationship with money for, and, and this is this if this is your story this might not be but if it is think about your relationship with money and think about your um just how you interact with money because i do feel like there is some kind of like a business partnership or something like a roommate situation that might be changing sooner than you expect and if you can change a relationship with money you're going to be okay i think that this needed to come out now because it's kind of a warning because if you hadn't had this warning, I feel like some of you might have gone deeper into that poverty mindset. You might have panicked when this came through. You know what I mean? Like you might have just freaked out. But I feel like if you start changing your relationship with, with money now, when this comes through, you're going to be okay because money is going to be flowing to you. You're going to be kind of trusting the universe and just, it, it's just going to go more smoothly, basically. You know, if you're letting go, then you're going to, you know, letting go, changing your perspective, getting into this new energy, you're going to have justice, you're going to be okay, you will, you know, you're going to be moving forward quickly, you will have to be in kind of like a higher front and also queen of swords energy, um, kind of, you know, I see this as someone that's, I see this as someone that's kind of controlling themselves, you might also, this could even be a couple, like the higher front and the queen of swords, you know, this could be a disciplined, um, and this could be male and male or female and female as well. Just take it as it resonates. But there could be someone here in masculine energy who is, is strong and disciplined and, you know, good with his money. And you're match, you know, you, someone else might be, you might be in this feminine energy, this queen of swords energy, kind of, you know, being strong and be in being logical with your money too. And so you guys are going to really compliment each other in this way. Like you might be leaving one business partner to go to a new business partner. That's going to be more positive or, or leaving an old roommate behind to go to a new roommate or, you know, leaving an old um, ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend behind to go to someone new that's going to it's going to be more of a financial balance. You know, it's going to be moving forward quickly. So you will be okay. There might be a period of here where you kind of have to pick up the pieces on your own. But before you know it, you're going to be moving forward to, with this, this new energy here. So you'll be okay. But it's just kind of a warning. Like, make sure that you start working on your connection with money now so that you can just let things flow naturally. So that you can, you know, save money in a way that doesn't feel stressful and negative. Okay. Um, something weird is going on with your love lives too. You guys, you guys have a weird reading. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, you're in weird energy right now. <laughs> I shouldn't say you're in a weird energy. I don't mean it like that. I just mean, I just mean this is a very interesting reading is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you're also being called to, especially with money, but just in general, you're being called to like end these cycles and the divine is helping you end these cycles and have this like breakthrough and this freedom. I see this, this sex seduction is like a free spirited energy. It's almost like you're being called to, to reclaim that free spirited, open, vulnerable side of yourself. And when you do that, I think that's another thing is the stress about, you know, rent and money and, you know, responsibilities, all of it. It's, it, you're going to, your pers not that it's just going to magically disappear, but you're going to have a new perspective. So it's not going to dominate so much of your life. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like paying rent and, and getting by is, is such a huge part of your life right now. And I feel like when you get in this more like free spirited energy, which the divine is trying to lead you to, it's like money is just going to flow in more naturally. So it's, it's not going to be such a huge stressful part of your life. I hope that makes sense. Um, I almost, okay, for, for love, I almost feel, okay, what the hell is going on with your love life? <laughs> because, okay, so I saw these cards, spying, we have courage, assertiveness, forward movement, mutual feelings, emotional depth, and we have toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. I almost saw, like, got, like, an image of someone, like, spying in this, on this couple in this field. Like, someone's, like, aware of this couple, and they're jealous, and they're trying to block this. So, let's see what... Let's see what the hell is going on with love. 
I'm sorry, bear with me. I know this was a really weird reading, okay? Just bear with me, guys. I'm sure that your next reading will probably be less complicated, hopefully. <laughs> Four of Cups reversed. What is going on with love? You're coming out of, ooh, you're coming out of stagnant energy. You either are the King of Pentacles or you're going to be with the King of Pentacles. You're coming out of stagnant energy quick. Someone's leaving a burden behind. Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, because they want to see things in, um, they're looking at things in like a long-term view. So they're leaving behind I feel like this King of Pentacles is leaving behind the things that have been holding him or holding her back. They're leaving behind the things that were just, you know, this heavy weight that they've had on their on their shoulders. They're leaving that behind because they want to look at things in a more long-term perspective. They're not looking for instant gratification. This person is looking for um they're they're planning their future right now. They might be thinking about marriage. Yeah, they're planting they're planting seeds. They're planting seeds. We have three of cups. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like I feel like there's something I feel like there's something that your person wants to study. Um, it's a really good energy because it feels like your person is really like just looking at things and this could be you, you know, take it as it resonates. You know, it's totally possible that the money reading was for you, but that this part isn't, this could be for someone specific, just, you know, take, you know, only take it if it resonates, but it does feel like this King of Pentacles is really looking at things in a long-term view, which is a really good energy because they're not just, they're not just trying to hit it and quit it. They're not just trying to, you know, have a, have a, month or two month long relationship with you this person is is in this star energy they're planting seeds they're thinking about the future they're cutting out toxic friends or family members or exes or whatever has been holding them back whatever has been keeping them from you keeping them from their full potential they're they're really trying to be strong right now and think about their future think about things in a long-term approach so this person really isn't going for instant gratification this person is really planting the seeds um and you know, hoping for for fun and excitement and adventure, but they're they're willing to work up to it to get there. I also feel like this person wants a new start when it comes to finances or career or even like a phys like Pentacles is about like the physical world, so this could even be like a living situation. I feel like this person could also be wanting to study something new. I feel like you guys might be okay. This isn't for everybody, but for some of you guys, might be going into business together because it's really interesting that. You know, you're you're you have a lot of life changes coming in, and your person also has a lot of life changes coming in. It seems like you guys are both kind of leaving the past behind right now. What else do you need to know about this? The Hermit, Temperance, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. I feel like this person might have told you that they need alone time or that they need to process things. And I feel like you're just, you're the queen of wands. Like you're just so powerful and seductive and charming and wonderful that I feel like, like they, don't get me wrong. Like they are going to build towards it. Like they, this is something that they're, they're thinking about the long-term approach. Um, There's just a bit of a mixed energy here where it's like, I think they were trying to find a balance and they were trying to be in hermit energy and kind of work on themselves. And I think that they're, they're doing that. I think that they've done that, but they also feel like they don't want to waste any more of their life without you in it is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Cause it's almost like, like they are planting the seeds and they are, it's a mixed energy because it's like, they are planting the seeds and they aren't looking for instant gratification, they are thinking about the long term. So they're making changes in their life right now so that they can have the, the you know, be it career, love, you know, all of uh, finances, all of the above. They're, they're making the tough life choices that they need to make right now to have the kind of life that they want. You know, like they're working towards that. 
some of them, like I said, might be going to school or studying here with the Eight of Pentacles. But I feel like they've been in kind of like this hermit energy, like temperance, like trying to find a um, a balance, you know, trying not to overdo it a little bit, trying to kind of take things slow as they figure out their life. But I feel like they're going to come rushing back in Knight of Wands. It's like fast movement. It's passion. I feel like they're just going to like... <laughs> They're not going to want to wait as long as they, they're trying to wait. They're trying to be patient. They're trying to build towards this and they are going to keep building towards it. They are, you know, they really are, but I feel like they might be moving things forward with you sooner than they expected to. <laughs> Hierophant, hanged man. Yeah, they're letting go of control issues because you know what? Like, this is true love. So I feel like this person might, um, I feel like you guys are going to have money together. Like, you're going to be business partners. You're going to be making money together somehow. Like, you're going to be, you're both going to be um, kind of helping each other develop a new, how to explain it, like a new mentality when it comes to finances. Because I did get something about finances in the other spread too. And I almost feel like maybe you guys have similar, um, I don't know if it's like a similar mentality with finances, but I just feel like you guys are going to help each other financially somehow, or you're going to be helping, like support, support each other somehow when it comes to like the physical world and finances and career and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I feel like this person's used to being in control. And so with the hermit, you know, temperance energy, I think that they're realizing they don't have to do it alone. I think that they were kind of in this mentality of like, okay, I need to get my life together. I need to, you know, end this and end that and maybe end third party situations or end toxic fam family or friend situations or end old jobs or whatever. Um, or, you know, maybe even get counseling or work on themselves, whatever. And I feel like they were in that like hermit temperance energy. And I think now they're kind of recognizing like, hey, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be in control of everything. Like I can do this with my true love by my side. So you're, it's really a beautiful energy because you're changing their perspective. You're changing their mentality. I feel like they were very independent before and they felt like they had to take care of everything on their own. They felt like they had to do everything on their own. And now they're getting in this mentality of like recognizing that, you know, like, I don't say, I don't know. I don't know why I was going to say Bonnie and Clyde. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> No, like they're they're getting in this mentality, like a power couple. Think like king or queen of king and queen of pentacles kind of energy. Like they're just recognizing, like, hey, like, yes, I do need to um, get counseling, or I do need to make these life changes. I do need to do this. I do need to do that. I do need to get this stuff in order. But they're they're realizing, like, hey, I don't need to be stubborn. I don't have to do everything alone. And that's a really amazing thing because I think that this king of pentacles is usually very independent very kind of like kind of like a loner type just kind of does things his way so for him to open up to someone like that is it's a really beautiful energy he's realizing he doesn't have to be in the hierophant energy he doesn't have to be right all the time he doesn't have to be in control all the time he's letting go of the perspective of the hierophant he's opening himself up he's pausing he's He's allowing this new perspective in. He's realizing that he can have this Ten of Pentacles. He can have the abundance and the success that he wants with his true love by his side. That it's not something that they need to wait for. It's something that, like, yeah, he has work to do, but he can do it with, with her by his side. They can do this work together. They can help each other through this. And, um, you know, they'll come out successful at the end. And like I said, it could be male, male and female, female too. just take it as it resonates. But anyway, that's what I have for you. If this resonates, please, um, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.